welcome back to my channel and if you're new what up so you guys today i am going to be giving you guys my thoughts on the new ultra gourmand collection i did get their little travel set so that i can try out all of the scents from this collection it actually comes with six fragrances so before I committed to all of the full bottles, they're about $30 a piece for an extra to parfum. I wanted to just try the sample size out because they do give you nice sample sizes for you to be able to spray it a few times, wear it on your skin, and then get some thoughts. And before I start off this video, like I have some thoughts, okay? Because I was actually really excited for this collection because I really like Okja fragrances. I really like their brand, even though um, a lot of their fragrances are inspiration fragrances from other design houses and niche houses. Um, I just really like their brand. So I was like, they can't do no wrong if it comes to like a gourmand collection, in my opinion. And if you go on the website and you look at the gourmand collection, it doesn't say that any of the fragrances are specifically inspired by any designer or niche perfumes. It's kind of like they made it their own blend and it doesn't state that it's inspired by anything and usually that's what they'll say. So like, for example, the lemon cake fragrance, it says inspired by lemon cake. But when we talk about it, it's actually inspired by another designer fragrance. So I have some thoughts about this collection. It's kind of weird. I feel like the scents don't smell exactly how the fragrance notes describe. And we all know that that is a thing when it comes to perfumes. They don't advertise or they don't display exactly what the fragrance smells like because then obviously people wouldn't buy it. Obviously it wouldn't sell as well, but that's neither here nor there. Marketing tactics, ploys, we all know about it. So yeah, if you guys want to hear my thoughts on this Gourmand collection, then just keep on watching. Okay, so we're actually going to go in order of the little fragrances. So I have already worn these. I've tested them out. I've actually resprayed them on my hands once again just so I can get my thoughts on them. So the first fragrance, and I'm going off of their website. So the first fragrance is Berry Bon Bon. And this one, it says it's inspired by Raspberry Pistachio Tart. The scent family is an Amber Gourmand Fruity. And the scent notes are Raspberry Pistachio, Almond Toffee, and Rum for the top notes. Heart notes of Coconut, Cardamom, Sugared Violet, Pistachio. Base notes of caramel, sugar, vanilla cream, and musk. Sounds amazing, right? Sounds gourmand. Sounds super good. It sounds like a lot, actually, but it sounds super good. So I'm wearing this one on this hand right here. And I really like Berry Bon Bon. I actually like it a lot. Now for this one, okay, so this one, in my opinion, was definitely inspired by Kayali Yum Pistachio Gelato, but with a different twist on it because I do feel like when I first spray it, I get this really fruity berry blast, which I'm assuming is from like the raspberry and like the violet and things like that. I do get a fruity sugary blast, but I feel like once it dries down, I get the pistachio, I get the caramel, I get um, the violet is still there, I get the coconut. This is a nice fragrance, but I feel like it has a little aspect of Yum Pistachio. That's what like I picked up when I smelled this fragrance. But I do think that this one was like maybe their own signature blend and just inspired by um, Yum Gelato because it's not exactly the same. To me, it definitely smelled a little bit similar just from the notes that I picked up. And if you guys don't know, Yum Pistachio is pistachio gelato, hazelnut, sweet rum, whipped cream, marshmallow, cotton candy. It has a bunch of scent notes just like this one as well. It definitely smells like a raspberry pistachio mashup. So this one is good to me and I would definitely consider getting a full bottle of this one in particular because I do like it. Okay, so the next one on the list is Caramel Brew, and it says Caramel Brew Coffee is what it was inspired by. The scent family is Woody Gourmand Vanilla, and the top notes are Sugar Berry, Steamed Milk, Espresso, Heart Notes, Coconut, Sandalwood, Cedarwood, Base Notes, Vanilla, Musk, and Caramel Squirrel. I thought that I would love this one because I do enjoy a good like cappuccino, caramel, mocha, latte type of fragrance. I didn't think that this one would be too strong, but I feel like this one is definitely strong. So they classified it as a woody gourmand vanilla and they are not lying. Putting that woody first is absolutely correct because this is definitely heavy on the woods. And I feel like it has that dose, like that heavy dose of masculinity, especially when you first spray it. And it's like, 
I can smell the other scent notes in there. Like I can smell the espresso. I can smell the caramel. It definitely does smell like a cold brew, but I don't know. It's just not perfect for me. I feel like in this one, the notes are fighting against each other because there's just so much going on. Like I said, you have like a sugared berry top note, then you have steamed milk, then you have espresso, then you have caramel, then you have vanilla, then you have coconut, sandalwood, cedarwood, musk. Like, I feel like they're all fighting and it's not a well blended fragrance. So this is one that I know for a fact that I would not get a full bottle of. I'm just not loving it. I feel like this could be a really, really good men's cologne, but even still, I feel like a lot of guys would not like this one because it's not very well blended. It's just not giving like smooth, rich, creamy, deep. It's giving kind of like everything is fighting against each other. So Caramel Brew is definitely a no-go for me. I didn't like that one off first sniff and I still don't like it, even though I get some of those notes that they were playing with, it's just not good. Now, the next one is another one that was definitely inspired by another fragrance 100%. So this one is Lemon Cake and it says inspired by Lemon Cake. Scent family is Citrus, Gourmand, Vanilla. Top notes of Petit Grain, Citronier, Lemon, Lime, Navel Orange. Heart notes of Orange Blossom, Almond, Coconut Cream, Shortbread, Cookie Accord. Base notes of Vanilla, Meringue, Caramel, Amber, Musk, White Woods. I was rooting for this one to be my absolute favorite in the collection because I love me a good citrusy gourmand lemon cake type of fragrance. I love it, but y'all, this is pretty much Dolce & Gabbana's Devotion, which I still have my heavily macerated bottle. It's been sitting and it's macerated and this is basically that fragrance. I wish they would have just said that it was inspired by Dolce & Gabbana Devotion because I mean, this is a hot commodity fragrance right now. A lot of people are going for this fragrance. So to have a cheaper alternative or a dupe of it, there's nothing wrong with that. So I don't know why they didn't say that this was just a, a dupe of this because it 100% is. I don't smell that one. Like it's not inspired by, I feel like it's a complete dupe. I don't smell a difference in the two. And y'all know I'm not the biggest fan of Dolce & Gabbana Devotion in general, just because I feel like with that rum, it just smells a little off to me. And even though in this Okja version, there is no rum or anything, since I feel like it's inspired by the fragrance, it takes on that DNA anyway. So it smells exactly like it to me. And it's just not one of my favorites, but the scent notes definitely could have got me because everything in this sounds so good. Like shortbread cookie accord, please. Vanilla meringue, caramel, again, coconut, lemon, lime, orange. Like it just sounds like a beautiful mashup. And unfortunately it ended up being something that I already have in my collection and am not really fiending to get a full bottle of. So that one was kind of a disappointment, not 100%, but kind of a disappointment. Okay. And so the next one we have is Marshmallow Mist. Now this is one I cannot put my finger on, but I know for a fact this is a dupe of something. And I don't know if it was a perfume that I have completely used up already, if I had like a sample or a travel size of it, and I just can't remember, but this is 100% a dupe of something and it's gonna kill me to not know what it is because I have been smelling my arm this entire time and I know for a fact it is something because I remember it. I have a scent memory of that particular fragrance, but I just cannot remember what it is. So anyways, Marshmallow Mist is inspired by Marshmallow. Scent Family Gourmand Woody Vanilla. It has top notes of Pink Marshmallow, Cloud Berry, Sweet Orange, Star Anise, Heart Notes of Roasted Marshmallow, Caramel, Honeysuckle, Creamy Milk, and Base Notes of Sugared Woods, Musk, and Vanilla. I'm gonna tell y'all right now, it is not no roasty, toasty, creamy marshmallow. It is very much airy, powdery, um, a little bit of floral, even though there's only two real floral notes in this fragrance, I guess the star anise and the honeysuckle, but this is this is definitely not giving super creamy, sweet, vanilla marshmallow. This is giving like airy, powdery, and I just cannot put my finger on it, but I'm telling y'all 100%, this is a dupe of a perfume that I've already had in my collection or still have in my collection. And I just can't remember what it is, but it was inspired by something else 
100%. Do not go into the thought process of thinking that that is going to be a super sweet marshmallow, like the type of marshmallow perfume fragrance that you add to other fragrances that you want to make more sweet. It's not the type of marshmallow fragrance that you add to like gourmand combinations. It's not that at all. That is a super, super airy, um, aromatic type of marshmallow powdery marshmallow scent so that one i would not be getting a full bottle in either because i just it smells like something i already have or have had and it's just not like my favorite type of marshmallow fragrance okay so moving on to the next one we have nectar whirl and it says inspired by toffee macaron so it's a gourmand nutty caramel scent family top notes of caramel coconut and sugar Heart notes of almond, macaron accord, and patchouli. Base notes of vanilla, sugar, amber, and musk. So these all have a theme to them. Like they all have like these sweet gourmand notes, but they aren't like 100% giving all of those sweet creamy things. So this is an interesting one. It's kind of polarizing to me in my opinion. Um, just because it's like the same thing with the caramel brew. I feel like the scent notes are fighting against each other. So this one is supposed to be like a toffee macaron. And I feel like that toffee is super, super deep and nutty. And then you have like the macaron where it's like an actual almondy cookie. Um, it's giving like sugary. And I feel like they're fighting against each other and it doesn't smell that great to me. And I don't know what this one could possibly be a dupe of or inspired by because I've never had this fragrance in my collection because I wouldn't have bought this fragrance at all. This would not have come into my collection point blank period. It does not smell that good to me. So Nectar World, I would 100% say pass on that one. That one is not good at all. Okay, and then the next one we have is vanilla gelato and this one says inspired by vanilla gelato scent family gourmand vanilla and woods it says top notes of sweet cream sugared violet red mandarin heart notes of brown sugar creamy white flowers and coconut milk and then base notes of vanilla white amber and sandalwood this one is definitely a dupe for something as well again cannot place my finger on it but it's not a super sweet, creamy, lactonic, milky, just like gourmand, decadent type of vanilla gelato. It's much more airy, aromatic. It's given light, fluffy, whipped. It's definitely not super, super, super gourmand, sweet, and creamy. So that one is a no-go for me as well. I am so happy I did not go ahead and blind buy all of these full size bottles because I was definitely thinking about it. I was definitely thinking about it and I was like, nope, let me just wait. Let me go ahead and, oh, that berry bonbon smells so good. It is wafting so good. It smells really, really nice. But yeah, I'm so glad that I didn't go ahead and get full size bottles of all of these because I would have been pissed, okay? I would have had to like try and make a return or something. I don't know if all of their sales are final, but I would have had to make a return or something because I am not in love with these fragrances. I do not think that they hit the nail with these fragrances. I think they kind of missed the mark. Ah, I just, mm -mm. no. And I get it once again, if they were going off of being inspired by other fragrances, then obviously they had to make the sense exactly like those fragrances, but I wish they would have went in a completely different direction than trying to do inspiration sense. I wish they would have came up with their own creations. I wish they would have came up with their own like scent profiles and made actual gourmands, not airy, light and fluffy and aromatic and all of that and like outdoorsy, just straight up gourmands. People will buy straight up gourmands. Straight up gourmands will sell. I don't know why these brands act like they're so scared to put together straight gourmand scent notes and call it a true gourmand. I have no idea. They always have to throw some musk in there. They always have to throw some woodiness in there. They always have to throw some florals in there. Like just make straight gourmand fragrances and I'm telling you, people will eat it up, myself included. So yeah, disappointed in this gourmand collection, but I wanted to let you guys know my thoughts because I feel like some of these scents were all over the place and 
just not hitting like they should have. So those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this video. If you did, go ahead and give me a big thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below letting me know that you enjoyed it. If you're new, thank you so much for watching. You should definitely go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Join the Fragrance and Beauty Army as well as that bell notification so that you can be notified every single time that I upload a video. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Peace.